Now, because I'm on the United Nations Global Steering Committee for Prevention of Genocide, I'm not going to elaborate a lot about uh, about the former rights and things, but I would uh, take you guys to, to various convents of the United Nations and various charters of the United Nations that what are the, in my view, what are the major uh, charters or the UN convents which are being violated uh, or not being followed by the government of India at the moment. It is Article 20, Article 21, Article 5 of the UN Declaration on Human Rights Defenders, which fully endorses the right of peaceful assembly and the right of peaceful demonstrations. However, um, it is quite astonishing the way the Indian government has decided to use the state-led repression against these peaceful protests of the farmers. They are using police lethal force against the peaceful protest protesters. Um, and this is not acceptable. Even uh, water cannon is being used. And we have seen that recently, a United Nations Secretary General has made it very clear to India that everyone has the right of peaceful assembly and right of peaceful protest.